Before tonight's Price is Right pricing game recap gets underway, please join me in a moment of silence to remember Richard C. Hodlett, who sadly passed away this morning at the age of 97 years old. He was a former CBS News journalist slash war correspondent. Thank you, and rest in peace, Richard C. Hotland. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Wednesday, December 17th, 2014. We are only eight days away now until Christmas. And it's hard to believe that we've also reached the midweek point of this week's shows. Now on to our first four contestants that were called to come on down. And they were... Christina, Cameron, this is a male, Shay, and Thomas. The model that gave Drew the mic at the handoff today was the marvelous Manuela Arbelias. And our first item up for bids was... The Price is Right Holiday Gift Idea of the Day. It was his and her monogram bathrobes and a set of four towels in the plush collection from Linham Home Textiles. And everyone in the audience would be receiving a monogrammed robe. And for those who want their very own monogrammed robe, they can go to PriceIsRight.com. The robes were worn and modeled by the ravishing Rachel Reynolds, yay, and the joyful James O. Halloran. Boo! <laughs> uh. All right, here were the bids. Christina, $625. Cameron, $450. Shay, $350. And Thomas, $626. And the actual retail price of the robes and the towels were $876. Thomas was the first contestant to play a pricing game as he was off by $250. Thomas also didn't realize that he actually uh, was the winner. He, he he didn't know what to do. He he he, he just couldn't believe that he was the winner. So now for Thomas, he could win for himself a trip for two to Puerto Rico. That is round trip coach from LA for a six night stay at the Rincon Beach Resort with daily breakfast included plus a guided half day trip to the rainforest. 
And that was modeled by Manuela at door number four. Thomas's pricing game was freeze frame. So, when Thomas chose to froze, fr chose to freeze the frame, the price he froze at was. $8,746. And when it was time for the actual retail price of the trip to Puerto Rico to drop down, it was... $5,922. Well, that was not really... That expensive of a trip to Puerto Rico. I thought uh, Thomas's price seemed fairly reasonable, but it wasn't. But Thomas still has the monogram bathrobes and the towels. Okay, our next contestant that was called to come on down was... Betty! And our next item up for bids was a Sprint 16 gig tablet and portable projector with one year of wireless service for both the tablet and the projector, modeled by Rachel. Now that'd be pretty cool for the teachers to use projectors in this day and age. Very, very modern. All right, the bids were Betty, $950. Christina, $1,750. Cameron, $500. And Shay, $1,100. And the actual retail price of the tablet and the projector was $1,578. Shay is contestant number two to play a pricing game. And we have learned that Shay is from Seattle, Washington. Seattle is the home of the Seattle Sounders. The soccer team that Drew owns uh, a portion of. Now, for Shay, she could win for herself a Horizon elliptical trainer that was modeled by James. Or if that prize wasn't enough for Shay, she could win for herself a new car! It was a 2015 Scion TC. Comes equipped with a 2.5 liter engine, 6 speed manual transmission, front wheel drive plus cargo cover, cargo net, and cargo tote. Modeled by Manuela. Shay's pricing game was any number. And the first number in the price of the Scion TC was... 2. So as we know, each number is in the price of the car, the elliptical trainer, and even... Money in the piggy bank, including another two. Okay, for Shay's first selection, she went with the number five. Five was the second number in the price of the piggy bank. Not a good start. Shay next selected the number two. Where was the other two? Well, that appeared as... The second number in the price of the elliptical trainer. Next, Shea selected the number one. And one was... The third and last number in the price of the piggy bank. Shea gets one more number for the piggy bank. That's all she's going to win. We don't want that to happen. Shea next selected the number three. And three was... The third number in the price of the car finally gets a, uh, another number in the car price. Shay next 
selected the number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine, and the nine was the third number in the price of the elliptical trainer. That was the last number in that prize's price. Okay, Shane next selected the number zero. Well, I have to say, this was a smart choice because it definitely wasn't going to be the first number in the elliptical trainer, and it definitely wasn't going to be the first number in the piggy bank. I know, a little bit of a spoiler alert, but zero was, in fact, the second number in the price of the car. It's a 20,000 plus Scion TC Shay is playing for. Shay next selected the number four, and four was the fourth number in the price of the car. So one number is remaining for all three prizes. Oh boy, Shay made um, a bit of a comeback for getting the numbers in the car. She's only one number away. The numbers that are left to choose are 6, 7, and 8. Shay chose lucky number 7. So, this will determine what prize Shay is going to win. As I was playing along, I felt 6 was the last number in the price of the car. All right, so when the number seven appeared on the any number board, it turned out that the seven was located in... The first number in the piggy bank! Oh, Shay won... Seven dollars fifty one cents. The actual retail price of the Scion TC was twenty thousand three hundred forty six dollars, so my instinct was right, and the elliptical trainer was eight hundred twenty nine dollars. Oh, too bad. So, including the one bid prize plus money in the piggy bank, <laughs> Shay currently won herself $1,585.51. Oh boy, what can you do? Okay, after the first commercial break was over, the next contestant was called to come on down. That person was Megan. Our next item up for bids was a Hamilton luxury men's watch that was brought down by James. Most appropriate for him to model that prize. Okay, the bids were Megan $1,300. Betty, $1,250. Christina, $950. And Cameron, $600. The actual retail price of the Hamilton Luxury Men's Watch was $1,845. Megan is the third contestant to play a pricing game. And uh, she couldn't believe that she got to meet Drew Carey on stage. She was like shaking. Now, for Megan, she had a chance to win an LG Ultra Large Capacity Washer and Gas Dryer with two pedestal drawers included, modeled by Rachel and Manuela. 
Also, monthly laundry supplies for a year that was modeled by Rachel. And maid service twice a month for a year, modeled by Manuela. This is a prize package worth $6,455. Megan's pricing game was pick a pair. And here were the six grocery products in this playing of pick a pair. We had a 16 ounce container of Daisy brand sour cream, a 75 square foot roll of Reynolds cut right wax paper, a 16 fluid ounce can of Monster Ultra Red Energy Drink, an 8.6 ounce package of Pepperidge Farm Pumpkin Cheesecake Cookies, a 28 count pack of Andy's Creme de Menthe Thins Mints, and a 15.7 ounce container of Campbell's Slow Kettle Style Southwest Style Chicken Chili with Beans. Alright, so... Megan first chose the wax paper, and the price of that was revealed to be $2.99. Megan chose to pair that up with the energy drink. She um, was thinking of saying both her choices in her first, uh, first turn of, uh, you know, like... When she was asked what, what did she want to pick first, she wanted she was going to try to say both her choices. Okay, the Monster Ultra Red Energy Drinks price was revealed to be $1.99. So, that is not a match, but Megan does get a second chance. Megan chose to keep the wax paper, and she decided to... Pair that up with the sour cream. Now, I felt pretty good on that. That's what I would have chosen. So, when the price of the Daisy brand sour cream was revealed, it turned out that it was... $2.99! Megan is a winner! And including her one bid prize... Megan currently won $8,300 in prizes. Wow. Nice to see Pick a Pair get a win like that. All right. It's now time for the first showcase showdown. The first contestant to spin the wheel was Thomas. And Drew mentioned that Thomas is from the windy city of Chicago. Home of former Price is Right contestant, Keith C. Johnson. Okay, in Thomas's first spin, he landed on 50 cents. He uh, almost got 95 cents, but the wheel just went past it. Thomas chose to spin again. And to add to the 50 cents in his first spin, Thomas got in his second spin... Oh my gosh, it was the dollar! One spin too late for that. Total, $1.50. Thomas is over. Next contestant to spin the wheel was Shay. In her first spin, Shay landed on 85 cents. Shay chose to stay. And Megan was the last contestant to spin the wheel. And in her first spin, she landed on, well, get this, 85 cents. Megan chose to stay on that, and we have a spinoff. Okay. In Shay's spinoff spin, her one and only spin, Shay landed on... 40 cents. And for Megan's spin-off spin, she ended up with what appeared to have been 40 cents for 
what could have been another spinoff, but it went to 75 cents, just barely, and Megan is on her way to the showcase. How do you like that? Let's see how Megan will do in the showcase later on in the recap. Okay, our next contestant that was called to come on down was... David! Our next item up for bids was a Plessers.com 24-inch built-in wine cooler modeled by Manuela on the turntable. Here were the bids. David, $1,150. Betty, $650. Christina, $700. And Cameron, $701. And the actual retail price of the built-in wine cooler was $1,418. David, who was just called to come on down, won his way up. He is the fourth contestant to play a pricing game. What's pretty cool about David is he wore a shirt that depicted an astronaut planting the American flag on the moon with the words below, Finders Keepers. <laughs> and we have also discovered that David is from Wilmington, North Carolina and works as a stunt pilot. Hmm, interesting job. And David was going to be playing most expensive for a chance to win the following three prizes. We had an LED lighting foosball table with six foosballs included, modeled by Rachel. A crystal sauna two-person infrared sauna modeled by James. And marked by Mark Jacobs, his and her leather accessories, modeled by Manuela. David believed that number two, the infrared sauna, was the most expensive prize. And I definitely felt that was the way to go. So let's start off with number one, the foosball table. Drew believed that this was not the most expensive prize. And I definitely agreed. And Rachel revealed the price of that prize to be $900. Definitely not the most expensive prize. Now over to number three, the Mark by Mark Jacobs leather accessories. Manuela revealed the price and it was $2,186. I was definitely not worried here. So if that infrared sauna was more than $2,186, David wins all three prizes. And when... James, the newest male model, revealed the price of number two, the infrared sauna from Crystal Sauna. It turned out that it was... $3,390! David wins all three prizes for a grand total of $6,400. $76. And including his one bid prize, David currently won $7,894 in prizes. Alright, our next contestant called to come on down was... Pat Nicky. And our next item up for bids was a Kenwood in-dash navigation multimedia system with two-year satellite radio subscription included, modeled by James. The bids were Petniki, $750, Betty, $1,750, Christina, $1,450, 
And Cameron, $1,000. The actual retail price of the Navigation Multimedia System from Kenwood was $1,000. $248! Cameron is the fifth contestant to play a pricing game. And we have learned that Cameron is from Renata Hills. He was wearing a shirt that mentioned about Chase Dreams. Well, Cameron sure was chasing his dream of being on The Price is Right. That's, I would imagine, everyone's dream to be on TPIR. Now for Cameron... He had a chance to win a new car! And it was a 2015 Chrysler 200 LX. It is equipped with a 2.4 liter engine and 9 speed automatic transmission modeled by Rachel. Boy, I tell you, for Cameron, winning a car on the price is right would definitely be a dream being chased. Well, being caught to be, uh, you know, to be chased. You gotta chase that dream. I hope he was uh, gonna play a very exciting pricing game for this car. Oh, bad news, Barrett! Don't tell me what game it's gonna be for Cameron. Oh. I'm sorry, ladies and gents, but in order for Cameron to win this Chrysler 200 LX, he's going to have to play those three hated words for a pricing game. Yeah, you know it by now. That's too much! All right, here we go. First price, $15,001. Cameron went on. Second price... Sixteen thousand two eighty-five. Cameron went on. Third price, seventeen thousand four hundred eighty dollars. Cameron went on. Fourth price, eighteen thousand six sixty-two. Cameron kept going. The fifth price, nineteen thousand eight hundred one dollars. Cameron went one more time. The sixth price, twenty-one thousand two hundred ninety-five dollars. And that's when Cameron decided to say, that's too much! Alright, $21,295. Was that the price just over the actual retail price of that Chrysler 200 LX? When Rachel revealed that actual retail price, it turned out that it was... twenty. Two thousand six ninety five. Cameron should have went one more time at the seventh price. That was too much. Twenty two thousand seven eighty. I felt twenty one two ninety five was going to be it, but not surprisingly, it wasn't. Cameron still has the multimedia system. All right, our final contestant called to come on down today was Tamara. And our final item up for bids today was a 16-piece cookware collection from the Pampered Chef. Now, earlier in the show, everyone in the audience would be getting one of those um, monogrammed robes. Well, it turns out that was not the only thing the audience would be getting today on this show, as everyone in the audience would be bringing home a Dutch oven. And once again, those who want their very own Dutch oven can go to PriceIsRight.com. On to the bids. Tamara, $825. Petniki, $1,250. Betty, $650. And Christina, 
And the actual retail price of the 16-piece cookware collection from the Pampered Chef was $696. Betty is the final contestant to play a pricing game, and she was off by $46. Now, for Betty, who is a fan favorite to the audience, as they were chanting her name, she had a chance to win a Michael Amini and Jane Seymour Contemporary Dining Room Group, along with a Noritake Modern 85-piece dinnerware collection with service for eight, modeled by Manuela, a bonus worth $9,055. I used the word bonus to signify that the sig to signal that's the correct English to use that Betty's pricing game was bonus game. Rachel was over by the small prize carousel and the first small prize was a Solano Turbo Ultra Light Hair Dryer. The wrong price for the hair dryer was $70. Betty believed the actual retail price was lower than $70. And Drew revealed that it was higher. It was $97. So she does not win the first window. Now the second small prize was a Cuisinart Classic Waffle Maker. And I have that in the kitchen. The price of that classic waffle maker wasn't $30. Betty believed that the actual retail price was lower. And Drew revealed that it was higher. It was $55. So the second window is not won by Betty. The third small prize was a Philips Norelco beard trimmer. The wrong price for that trimmer was $59. Betty once again believed the actual retail price was lower. And Drew revealed that it was... Lower! It was $40. Third time was the charm for Betty. And finally, we had an Aurora Paper Shredder. Wrong price was $45. Betty once again believed the actual retail price was lower. And Drew revealed that it was lower. It was $33. So, if the bonus was behind either the third or the fourth window, Betty will be a winner. And when it was time for the bonus to be revealed, it turned out that it was located in... The second window. How unfortunate. It was where the waffle maker was. Oh. Oh. Too bad. But Betty does not go away empty handed because by winning the beard trimmer and the paper shredder totaling $73, that is a consolation win. And including her one bid prize, Betty currently won $769 in prizes. Now it is time for the second showcase showdown. And Betty was the first contestant to spin the wheel. Now, Drew recently got out of um, neck surgery, so he couldn't help Betty on assisting the wheel. So, they turned over to James for the help the newest male model. So when Betty and James spun the wheel for the first spin for Betty, the wheel landed on 20 cents and Betty decided to spin again. And to add to the 20 cents in Betty's second assisted spin by James, the wheel landed on 
50 cents. That is a total of 70 cents. Cameron was the next contestant to spin the wheel. He did not need any help to spin it. And in his first spin, he landed on 80 cents. Cameron chose to stay. David was the last contestant to spin the wheel. In his first spin, he landed on 65 cents. He had to spin again. He needed at least 15 cents, but no more than 35 cents. And to add to the 65 cents in his first spin, David got in his second spin 90 cents for a total of $1.55. David is over, which means that Cameron is on his way to the showcase. So we'll see how he's going to do with the showcases coming up. Today's showcase was Megan. The runner-up was Cameron. Showcase number one included a trip for two to Napa Valley. It is round-trip coach from L.A. to San Francisco, Gipper Man's home city. And it's on to Napa Valley via a rental car for a six-night stay in a two-bedroom cottage, courtesy of NapaGetaway.com, plus a hot air balloon ride. Also, a trip for two to London, England, that is round trip coach from L.A., for a six-night stay in a standard room at a contemporary central London hotel with daily breakfast included, plus an underground tube tour. The trips to Napa Valley and London were modeled by Manuela. And finally, a Triumph Bonneville motorcycle with helmet included, modeled by James. Megan chose to pass that showcase to Cameron. Cameron's bid was $20,000. Now for showcase number two. And the theme was like uh, walking on the red carpet. But I'll be a little honest, it didn't really feature that much of glamorous prizes, but these were still nice prizes. We first off had a Canon Vixia HF G20 HD camcorder and a 27-inch Apple iMac desktop computer. The camcorder and computer were modeled by Rachel. Then we had a 65-inch 1080p Samsung 3D LED HD TV with two pairs of glasses included and an LG 9.1 channel Blu-ray disc home theater system. The HD TV and the Home theater system were modeled by Manuel. And a 2015 Jeep Compass Sport front wheel drive SUV. Comes equipped with a 2.4 liter engine, 5 speed manual transmission, plus Uconnect voice command with Bluetooth, modeled by James. Megan bid $21,000. Okay, so for the showcase reveal, Drew went to Megan first. Megan bid $21,000. Actual retail price, $27,678. A difference of $6,678. And now over to Cameron. Cameron's bid was $20,000. Actual retail price... $22,342, a difference of $2,342. Cameron wins his showcase. Cameron won himself a grand total of $23,590 in prizes. And he has most definitely chased his dream. 
So on today's show, we had two pricing games, one in their entirety. They were pick a pair and most expensive. Uh, we also gave away money in the piggy bank in any number, specifically $7.51. And in bonus game, we gave away a beer trimmer and a paper shredder. Okay, so our MVPs of the Price is Right are Megan and David for their pricing game wins. And contestant recognition contestants are Cameron and Betty. There you go. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right Price Game Recap this week is provided by Pillsbury Holiday Funfetti Cake Mix. And uh, by the way, I did not receive any acknowledgments from Benjamin James Mason or any other member of the Price is Right Price Game Recap team. So, this means I will be signing off for the night, and I'll see you all again next time for the Price is Right Price Game Recap. This is Mr. Morgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everyone.